What a doll. A very, very happy, happy 100th birthday celebration for the woman we are profiling in today's Those Who Serve. Family and friends of Ginny Davis gathering in North Phoenix for the big party earlier this afternoon. Team 12's Mark Curtis introduces us to her, who's proud of her military service and her longevity. April 5th, 1922, that's when I was born. Ginny Davis has seen and done a lot in her 100 years. Even serving during World War II with the Women's Army Corps. I enjoyed the military, I did. Every part of it, I really did. I was proud to be in the service. Ginny decided to join after her first husband, a member of the famed Flying Tigers, lost his life in a training accident. Reporting for duty half a world away from home, these United States Army women are making a vital contribution to the cause of the United Nations. She wound up stationed in Cairo, working in the medical field. Paperwork, I interviewed people. Even though she was busy, the military life also gave her the chance to see Africa and the Middle East. Did I tell you that I crawled up the um pyramids when I, yeah. was, when I was there. Yeah. Now at 100, Ginny is still sharp as a tack and was kind enough to share her secret to a healthy long life with us. I have to have five ounces of red wine and a little round square of 85% dark chocolate. That puts me into Numberland. I eat a lot of raw spinach. Yeah, a lot of it. I mean, handfuls. Good for <laughs> And she's also had time to gather good friends who keep her young at heart. You know what? I'm kind of glad I got to be 100. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so cute. And we love her spunk. Ah, oh, so, so sweet. 12 News is honoring the courage, dedication, and sacrifice of those in our armed forces. And we want to share the stories and photographs of those veterans who are closest to you. To submit your Those Who Serve stories and photos for a chance to be featured, just go to 12news.com slash those who serve.